Van. That's right, folks. It's a groovy time for a movie time. And be my meat. Welcome back to TGD Spoils. This Can I just say this is the best Saturday night of my life? <laughs> <laughs> Saturday, Technically, it's Wednesday, Saturday. but we're going to run oh, yeah, Saturday. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, sorry, Wednesday. sorry, sorry. It's greatest hump day ever. School <laughs> night. <laughs> what movie are we spoiling tonight? This week, we are doing the original Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. So good. T-U-R-T-L-E power. So good. T-U-R-T-L-E power. With Frankie, Jeff, and, of course, our guest, a filmmaker extraordinaire, BJ Rainiac. Welcome back to the the den, BJ. I, I am stand. glad to be back. This is great. <laughs> so, <laughs> Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles was a giant. I feel uh, like those shot glasses should be filled. Yeah, I know. We're not drinking more saying. shots. <laughs> I'll totally do more shots. I will, too. You would. Yeah, I you feel can. like if we only had someone that could get us. This sh- bottle right here. <laughs> oh, ah. no. It's there green, too. Oh, oh man! Oh, T U R T L E power. I well. feel like I I wasn't prepared for this. This was kind of just feel like brought I'm on <laughs> us. I I this is one of my favorite movies of all time. It really is. It is. That's why I'm I think it was a safe one to go to. It is we've all seen one of the best. So many times. It is just a great movie. Oh, oh. The way it is shot, the fucking the city scenes, fucker. the fucking. <laughs> do it, do it, do I it, fucking it. love it. Can I just say, as a child, so this movie, what, what year did it come out? 1990. Mm-hmm. Oh, just a little bit more. Just a little bit the more. The cartoons seven. came out before that. Yeah, so I was seven. It was the dark night before the Go dark ahead, night. tell me what, what year the movie oh God, came out. No, I think you're right. No, no, no God damn right, right. 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 Yeah. He, knows. <laughs> <laughs> he fucking knows. <laughs> so we're not even going to fight this. <laughs> no, yeah. There's no arm oh, wrestling. Oh, come on. What happened? Oh, did, not over. That one got real full. Oh, oh it's to the brim. Is that's that yours, bro. To the brim. Is that that's Raphael? Yours. It is. So I could pass it over to him. Pour it into your Michelangelo that's cup. No, that's Donatello. So <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, pour it into Donatello. <laughs> is that Donnie or is that? It's all better. Oh, it is Donnie. He did it. He did it. He did it. He did it. Right, yeah. So <laughs> this one is uh, for our childhood love of oh my God. teenage Can we please? So, Mikey. We love it. Mikey. Yeah, grab your oh, shot. Grab your shot, Mikey. And uh, give me back I'm not going to cheers you guys because it's going to be bottle, over a computer. Clown. Wow. <laughs> serious really fast. Come on. Cheers to one of our favorite wait, movies of all wait, time. Wait. I'm oh going to be a dick God. right now. Okay. 1990. I want <laughs> these little faces <laughs> on camera. I don't know if we can. Primitive. Right. Primitive. Just for a picture. We don't have to. This is stupid, and I apologize, but this, I will... Let's get it. Hey, man, turn hey, your face hey, around. Hey, oh. hey, hey, yeah, hey. Proper placement. Okay. See? Uh, can we see him? That's what I did. Mom. Can we see him? That's what I did. Are we did, good? Mom. Ready? Oh, Let's go. Ready? <laughs> two, three. This is quality audio right here, let me tell you what. So, just for everybody listening, we just took a picture. I apologize. That's oh. not what you do on radio. Oh. You don't have to apologize to no one. This is so Let's just say it's late in the night. I never knocked on nobody. Never knocked on nobody. <laughs> that was last week. We don't talk about last week's movies. Oh, yeah. Family. Okay. Sorry. It's going to be okay. So <laughs> what we were originally going to do was we were going to watch uh, Peanut Butter Falcon and do it on that, but that's going to come at a later time. Later time. Which I would be okay with coming back for because I just bought it and I haven't watched it yet. Yeah. Well, when you watch Next it. Next week, we'll all watch it. We'll do it. Can I just rage about for about... 10 seconds. Go ahead. How pumped I am that Shia LaBeouf is coming back with a... Uh, Heater. Hey, I got sober, and I'm changing the freaking world. He's done some great things in Disturbia. I like quick, him as one of my favorite movies. It was a great movie. I, it. I mean, it's an right. old rear window. Yes. I mean, yeah. And it I made it the, 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 the real ass. Cool. Plus, he's one of the greatest freestylers known to man. Yeah, spits hot fire, bro. He spits hot fire. So he went through a phase. Oh, so we won't well, go he there, went through a phase, yeah. But well, guess what? Uh, 
the audio is going to be late on this one because it didn't start. So we're starting in the middle. Are we starting right now? Oh. Right now? No. The video is going. The audio just didn't start going. So okay. the audio is so, so um, explain to everyone in the audio. Well, that's where. All right. So, all right, so in the audience, we're drunk <laughs> as fuck. A little bit. Continue. Yeah. So the, uh, the audio version of this podcast is about five minutes <laughs> later than the uh, video. <laughs> Not my fault. Uh, computer didn't work. But, hey, welcome to uh, TGD Easy Spoils. Mystical. TGD hey, Spoils. My fault. Jeff, Hi. Frankie, Sean, and BJ Raniac. How you doing? Hi. We are uh, doing the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle movie. <coughs> yes. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Back in well, that's good because all the, the, I mean, that five minutes was uh, doing shots and fluff. So we're good. Yeah. All right, yeah. here it is. Shots and fluff. Ladies and gentlemen, what is Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the 1990 classic? 1990 (laughs) classic film, which was way darker than anybody (laughs) ever expected a Ninja Turtle movie to be, was and is still my favorite Ninja Turtle movie. Especially in an era where they had the cheesy cartoons. And oh all yeah, right. shit. The, the, even just the costumes and the animations of the characters the are, are fucking, fucking amazing. Point on, like as we the first off two, air before. Uh, let me we, just say the first two movies, the costumes were amazing. Yes, the, the third, third movie got a little got out out weird with the weird dots. And that's where where they had great herpes, I don't you know, could respect a good costume. Yeah, they had turtle design. herpes. <laughs> Someone Terp- I call them turpies, but that's yeah. fine. See yeah, the so, vision. Yes. Because there hasn't been a good shark movie since 1974 in Jaws. There because there hasn't been a good. Good Turtles movie since 1990. <laughs> <laughs> that is yeah. true. I'm gonna give you 100 percent true fact on that. Deep Blue Sea was okay, but that's like a border. shark. Sea, how no. dare you? <laughs> Fucking shark ate me. It's, it was so good. It was it was so what good. Was Josh. it? Samuel no, Josh. Jack. Josh. Oh, 74. Josh. 74. Okay. Okay. Oh yeah. Sorry, my hat's like a shark's fin. We ain't we ain't done. I'm, I'm deep as I enjoyed my it head the little like bit. Thing. The only part that really was great is when it was an actual. Don't say great. <laughs> it was. We're you tell me about. a scene that was better where the shark is, they're testing the shark, and he takes off the dude's fucking arm. If that doesn't look the most oh, realest thing since you alert. See, I don't give, that's what this show is. It's a spoiler. Are you talking about Deep Blue Sea? Yeah. <laughs> okay. They were, they thought, were, du- they were getting yeah. dark. I thought you were talking about so turtles. lost. Yeah, no. Ninja uh, Turtles. Let's get back to the turtles. turtles. Okay. Who the hell off. bites off someone's arm? Okay. Right. I got you on that one. Say Raphael Jackson. was really mad. So let's... let's Let's get to the first scene, guys. Okay, wallets are being oh, we're doing like pocket wallets are oh, being yeah. Yeah. wallets are being shifted through deep. hands. Why? Because wallets are being shifted through the hands. The clan is organized. They got they got guys out there. The lady on the balcony was moves. one of my favorites. Right. Huh? Turns around, the TV's, TV's gone. gone, lady. It's Who? gone. Out of New York, right on the side. Who? So and the van just gets wiped out. Gone in an instance. In all honesty. When you think about how hard it had to be for those four dudes, <laughs> right. and even five dudes, the guy in Splinter, to act and to to do all the stuff, but also there were puppeteers controlling the costumes, stuff yes. outside of them. Right, and there the are eyes, in the mouth, the and mouth, the eyes, yes. and all of that. There are moments in the movie where oh. their, their mouth opens too far, and you can actually see, see the, the inside of it. <laughs> Wait, what the? F- Who the fuck is oh, that? Look at that. There's a guy in there. But that's the thing. You, you care when it's in that. God it's damn, I'm going to go deep right now. So I call that movie magic. Yeah. It's, it's, the, it's the music is there. The sound effects are there. The tone of the actor's voice. You don't. And the darkness when, is there. When Raphael yells, damn, like, damn. you feel it because he yes. lost a sigh. And that's that's what's great about it is uh, oh whoever God. was involved in the, in the filmography they just is that a word? They, cinematography. Oh, cinematography. There we, go. there we go. When he said "damn," they showed like uh-huh. they showed the whole city, city. and that yes. echoed. Yes. yes. That so it was that it traveled so through the whole fucking city. Yes. See, yes. that's what I'm saying. Like that's oh. movie fucking making, bro. Step your game up, BJ. That's oh, <laughs> so much work to do. That's where it pulls you in, though, where you get the emotional attachment, where you could feel someone's pain. But that's the thing. Or, like, something happened. Him and Casey Jones. Right. You got away. But that damn, wasn't even, like, 
And Jose was like, can say go back? You go to LaGuardia, <laughs> right? <laughs> money for this. Oh, my God. Cricket. You got to know what a crumpet is. To understand cricket. That's such there are so Just many came quotes. out of the Critters movie. Oh, yes. Oh, Critters. Where did I come up with this Night. stuff? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Critters. All because Raphael <laughs> is a hothead. And he needs to blow off a little steam. He is wonderful. Oh my god! His attitude in the movie. You know, I'm, gonna be honest I'm with too you. drunk. I I fucking love this movie to death. This I want to marry it. This is I want to fucking wrap it in a little ball and put it in my vagina. And every time I wow. feel a tickle, I Jeffrey. just know it's a Ninja Turtles movie. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I want to do. Yeah. This. <laughs> that would be a movie reference. I love this movie fucking reference. movie so fucking much. You just referenced a movie on top of a movie. And this it's like these Inception. new it's weird. Yes. These in the new Matrix. Ninja Turtle movies that are coming out trash. are fucking trash. So here's the thing. Toka and Razor? Come on. What are we doing here? No, they did did those were real good uh, So they did be... I haven't seen the second new, the, the Michael That's Bay. That's what I'm I saw about. The, See? I think I'm I, so fucked up, I can't even pronounce them right. I think I saw the first, I think, the first one. Maybe only part of it. I liked Michael Bay back in 1996. The first Transformers like movie, anymore. you were obsessed. Uh, the way bad. Michael Bay directs, it's amazing. His shots are great. Never and then, said that once. Yes, you did. And then Never. once he did it in every movie, Never. you're like, I'm so sick of it. How fucking dare you? You love the, the you? transformation the of new tra- movies. The first Transformers movie is it's a fucking, amazing. I like it. Yes. But it I is. rewatch it recently. I don't really like it so well, much. Well, we always feel different at things at certain times. <laughs> so at one point in your life, there was important I like things Michael that Bay. aren't now. Dude, how much do you like Bad Boys? Love Bad See, Boys. See, that's love where it. I was going to go to. Oh, really? Love Bad Boys. So, But he, Michael Bay, outgrew Sean his wants coverage. Sean to say something so bad. <laughs> Get it, bro. Get it out. Go go remember we went and saw the Transformer movie in 3D? In the lens of my glasses popped out. I could only watch it with one eye. <laughs> that was Transformers. That was, I think it was the second movie. Like I don't the know. Fucking, it was the one where they had it, the... It popped out, and I lost the... I lost right Stop before the movie it. started. So I watched a 3D movie with one eye. <laughs> oh, my God. Time. That's like... That's it was torture. That's hard. That's hard. It was torture. He's like, everything's vibrating. <laughs> 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 Yeah, oh, no. Oh. Everything's that's the, that's the I couldn't do that. The worst movie. Movie. All we want to get to. Let's get back on track. Yes. Let's get back to the fucking. What are we doing? So we're in this? New York. Fuck Michael Bay. There's trucks that are getting pulled and jacked in seconds. Let me, They're let jacking s- trucks. The Foot Clan is fucking meow, the city up. Meow, 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 this is getting meow, crazy. Meow, let me just say meow, something. Meow, meow, meow. Michael Bay and Jerry Bruckheimer. Because they worked yeah. together for so long and oh then had a split. God, there's a burning tree. Hold on, <coughs> hold on. You're right, actually. That was <laughs> his logo. <laughs> nice yeah, job. Lightning bolt tree. <laughs> <You're so laughs> lightning. Um, I can't even hate because Gone in 60 Seconds is one of my favorite movies See, of all time. See, that's the thing. Here's what I'm talking about. <laughs> they oh, know. Oh, getting into it. He's, Fuck. I'm sorry. Pardon my French. They know... How to pull shit out of people that, as an audience, you just thrive on it. You want it. You crave it. Relation <sighs> now, to feel that I emotion. will say, when they tried to do what they did with Ninja Turtles, what Michael when tried to do. When they remade it. Yes. I had such a fight internally. I think the only thing was that elevator scene where they're like beatboxing. I'm like, oh, yeah, there's, there's, there's Mikey. There's my guy. Right. Yeah. And, and he's then slapping got, the num- ch- num- yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Just, and they all came together. I was like, that's the unity moment I needed, but I don't feel it in the rest of the movie. Nope. Do you remember your emotion when that you was heard it. that, that was they the were only redoing point. it? Do you remember how you felt when you heard they were going to remake okay, the so Well, the we, problem is... Are we talking I, about the new... Like, the newer one. The other when day. When, I, there was a when I heard that no, no, they no, were no, re... Oh, back in the day to remake. The Michael okay. Bay. Yes. When I heard they were redoing it, I saw the casting okay. of the Turtles. Sure. Like So they were like CGI. making molds. No, the, it wasn't CGI. They were like making molds of the Turtles. And I was like, this doesn't look anything like the fucking turtles, Nothing. and I know. Like, they made them 
Don't get me wrong. They made them like realistic. It's cool. They're right. tough. They're right. rugged. They're but fu- I want cartoonish. But they're like seven foot two. No, I want realistic. I like they're the shit husky. that's in a real they scene. They're not ninjas. Then you would. Then you love the Michael Bay. They were Bay. linebackers. That's <laughs> what they were. Thank it's you. CGI. I don't like it. I don't like CGI. They they were more oh, linebacker man. than I like the turtle. Bo- I like. I know it's not real. Okay. I know those it's turtle suits to. aren't real. Stop lying. No shit, they're not real turtles. There was something about There's four the turtles guys in the world that they cast it for enough. It. Those four dudes who could flip around in a and suit. still Chuck Norris roundhouse a dude in the face and still twirl a bow staff and none. But as some as someone who and land their feet, there as, was something to that. As someone who makes movies, okay? okay. All right. Now there is. There is a feeling, even if it's a prosthetic or a suit, you still get a feeling from that. So if they're getting kicked and they're kicking or they're doing something, but if it's CGI, it's fake. You don't care. I'm out, bro. Who cares? So so there's two. There's two ways that you do a shot like that. You do a shot where a guy physically does it in a costume of some even if they're in like just a, a, green, a green screen suit or or a, a whatever you got all the little marks on you and, and it's the, a motion the tracker. balls the balls. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, 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 balls. Balls. Suit. pound sign fake as fuck go ahead google that one <laughs> <laughs> or or you have a dude in a costume who is just he is he's, talented. His he is centered, man. That dude knows his elements. I want to sit down. This is I'm serious. This is a goal of mine. Yeah, to sit down with the four original Ninja Turtle actors in those suits and just buy them a drink. I want to just pick their brains. The so only one that was you the guys same would person. appreciate this the most because you like the extra credits. Well, hold on, let watch. Oh, let me yeah. let me tell you some extra credit shit. Oh, tell the me. The only one that was so there was voice actors and then actors in the suit. Mikey was the only one that was used his voice. Both. both. He Correct. also was yes. the pizza guy. Yeah, because right. Corey he Feldman's pe- not throwing spin kicks. Well, yeah. yeah, yeah. So he did. He did uh, <laughs> Ninja Turtles one. And he did Ninja Turtles three. He didn't do two. Did you know the but cameraman is weird. another one of them? Like we're talking about this. So Ninja Turtles two was like all costumes and cool shit, and then it went to the new Ninja Turtles where it's all like CGI shit. Horrible. Have you seen American Werewolf in London? Oh wow! Yeah. We just one of the best <gasps> makeup artists of all time. Rick okay, Baker. have you seen American Werewolf in Paris? But yes, yes. <laughs> it is fucking garbage. It's all CGI werewolves. It's, it's oh, like what horrible. I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking Par- about. The new re- the American new Werewolf okay. in Paris, but in London, American it's Werewolf, Werewolf in London. London. That's a horse of a different color. That's back in the eighties. Yeah. Has anyone ever when was real American quick seen werewolf? the movie Bad Moon? Oh, yeah, my favorite werewolf movie of all time. Of all time, of the, all time. The costume in that is absolutely I'm sorry. ridiculous. I'm sorry if you've never seen the movie Bad Moon. I love American Werewolf oh. in London, can I, but Bad what? Moon. We're so, gonna hardcore. Yeah, I, oh, I mean, we, we can go deep into the Bad these Moon movies. is my favorite werewolf oh, movie of all time. Oh, so fucking good. So 100%. I've never seen Bad Moon. Never. Really? No. Whoa. It will, I'm gonna, it will I'm change gonna you. You tangent to another we franchise, but let's stay here for a minute. Let's stay on the turtles. Oh, we're losing track. No, no, here. no. It's okay Real quick if we, with the we, we can, we can, it's back. We we can go wherever. Back. Yeah, because we we'll go wolves back to turtles. It's all good. No, we'll Bad move. We'll right right back in the race. Animal awesome. family. Rock a raccoon. <laughs> Bad <laughs> moon. Bad there moon is like an albino fucking werewolf with a fucking huge ass fucking jaw. It's Bad Moon's my favorite it's werewolf. It's insane. Why are we I love talking Amer- about the howling? I love American... <sighs> that's fine. Right, that's you okay. go ahead. All right. American <laughs> Werewolf in London. Okay. Okay, is he yeah, is, is here. Awesome and, and dark in a second. I'm just saying. Even the story Bad Moon, to Bad Moon is really good. And it's how it, really it, not, but go well, ahead. It's, wait, who's <laughs> in this? Nobody. Nobody. <laughs> 
I mean, nobody. Well, can somebody text me? Google just bad, bad moon, moon, dude. Just send is, me a message that says bad moon, and I need. I just need you, to yes. know. It, How it did is, I miss this? It is fucking. It is my favorite werewolf. One movie of my of all favorite time. things. The bad moon is from the 1996. The cast. Uh, right. I was in sixth grade. Let's keep. The it. cast is Michael Perry. I Michael will just Perry. tell you right Mason now. Mason Gamble. The transformation. Mariel Hemingway is probably much is, the only name I know. It's not that good. What? Because it's CGI. American Werewolf in London was all tricks with actual shit, so it looked okay, yes. it looked realistic as fuck. It was a great transformation. Well, maybe I bad see Bad Moon, Moon at like ten, and I thought it was Bad awesome. Moon is a digitally enhanced transformation, but that werewolf is, is my favorite werewolf of all time. It's it literally would still give me nightmares. Uh, you should watch The Howling it, then because that movie is no fucking dumb. Bad it's, Moon. It's yeah, it's no. It's I've good. seen it's, all of them. Bad Moon. All of them. The, bad Moon's my oh, favorite werewolf. The Howling of all time. when the fucking werewolf rips the guy in half. <laughs> Yeah, that's it's one rough. part though. But we're talking you about the cry. wolf. The wolf will give you a Dude, feeling in the pit of your stomach. There's a werewolf. Right. There's a werewolf slash fucking. That's what German I'm saying about Shepherd old movies. Brawl? They, 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 yes. <laughs> oh no, I don't know if I can handle that. It's shit. a little sad. I, I know ah, I'm a puppy guy. I love my puppers. Oh, no. Also, I'm uh, just gonna say the German Shepherd. Why are we not talking about Twilight? Oh, okay, that's fine. no. no, no I'm going going we don't. There. We're not going there. <laughs> I was talking about how glitter about, vampires. Hold on. All right, so we're going turtles. <laughs> yeah, glitter vampires. Yeah, let's yeah. get okay. back on track, man. Hold on. I want to say something about Underworld. Oh, oh the lichens. Fuck yes. So, oh. I'm sorry, mom. I dropped an f bomb. Oh. Can I say something about that director? Aside from the fact, God bless him for being married to Kate Beckinsale for a minute. <laughs> lucky, oh. lucky man. Just ask Sean about She's that. She's on my top five. We'll, we'll just not go there. So, Sean will um, Google a stretching video. Have you seen the stretching <laughs> video of <laughs> Kate Beckinsale? I don't want. I don't need <laughs> you do, you, you I don't need it. it. I don't. You'll have another kid Google real quick. <laughs> Google it. All right. So, <laughs> so what that director was so hell-bent on was bringing back old-school Ninja like Turtles, him. bringing back the physical, not CGI shit. Yeah, I loved it. He was so good at it, and he, he had a team of people that were just... They were hungry to show their skills again. Was Tom Savini on that one? Um... I don't know. I think Topless was what uh, Tom Savini is one of the best fucking See, the costume that, designers the right thing now. That, I'm uh, not sure. I am honestly not sure. I think uh, companies nowadays they just they just go with the CGI, and I probably prefer, cheaper and easier. Cheaper and easier. I prefer yeah. the actual like. So here's the old thing. school makeup. I, you know what I'm saying? I I totally agree with you. 100%. I, am, I am much more the old school makeup animal. I love you. <laughs> um, <laughs> dog so much it's not even funny. Red, red. The best so, dog in the world. Um, there's a thing about yes, it could be cheaper and easier unless you don't know exactly what you want, and it will end up costing you so much more. So the or if the directors have to be and the producers are constant. Like okay, so there's they, a battle. They hire a makeup person. And then he designed something. They're like, "Okay, well, we yeah, we like it, but you should change this right. and change that." And There's, then, then it's not cost effective, right? And then we should just CGI this shit, and There's, then it looks like shit. Because they're gonna use the first one that doesn't look, look at the, the greatest, turtles instead of paying to have it CGI like we again actually started talking about. So let's, the Ninja Turtles. Right, here, let's get back to the turtles. What I Let's always found profound, crazy, always has blown my mind since I was, I don't even know, seven years old, seeing it in the theater. That was my first movie in the theater was Teenage Mutant Ninja uh, Turtles. I remember Antioch Theater. Dude, Antioch, it was Antioch, a good one. Antioch yeah. Theater, yeah. in line, saw my sister coming out. She saw it before me. I'm like, what the... I got pissed. I, say, yeah. I walked in there with my parents. I was like, I'm going to see this. I'm excited. God, I saw the preview on TV. That little stupid 
black and white, whatever. Huge box. And it just wrecked me because it was so real. Those it was costumes, awesome. those guys moving, the the, the emotion, kicking, yeah. The story, the, the darkness. Totally. Yes. It was fucking it was, amazing. When I saw Raphael get pissed about his sigh and the damn. Idea, damn I was in. Damn. I was I so in. I lost the side. I lost the side. I get back. Let it go. Let it go. <laughs> Let it go. <laughs> but Raphael, you know, Splinter calls him down. All that stuff. Even the emotional part, part where like Raphael this. went to the movies and shit, and he exactly. comes back. Come him and Splinter. Stuff? The him and moment Splinter between comes back. a mentor and a and a student. God damn, what a great dude! Woo! That just. You could be a piece of crap kid and know there's a coach in my life somewhere that's going to speak to me like Structure. that, and I better be ready for it. Yep. Somewhere. Splinter was that voice, you know what right. I mean? And he was this weird robotic rat that you <laughs> never thought he was a robot when you watched it. Ever. No. It was so no, no. smooth and fluent. And those guys, like, so I just watched up. this... Yeah. Well, but <laughs> even, even then, even when he chained up, you wanted to fuck. You wanted to kill yeah. somebody. Even but just how uh, like thin his arms even, were. Yeah, yeah, he was very frail. Even yeah. when Shredder backhanded fair. him. Because right. oh, it's on. <laughs> that's the moment where you're like, give me five minutes in a room with Shredder. Yeah. You know what I mean? Come and here, he said, Saki. He said, <laughs> <laughs> the rat. Orokusaki. Oh, very good. So. Orokusaki. Anyway, <laughs> my long-winded uh, point. Four baby turtles. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. Oh, no. That was, about the oh, so <laughs> that, was, that was That was legitimately eight podcasts in a row. Yes, it happened in uh, El- Elkhart Lake. We were sitting around the okay. campfire. Oh, That's when you first did that. I just I couldn't we're stop laughing. Fucked <laughs> up <laughs> around a bonfire, and I just randomly said, "Oh, oh baby, turtles!" <laughs> and I just started dying, and like he's going oh through the God. skit, and uh, I love this. That was us. <laughs> oh my God, I love this. Oh Jesus Christ! Peter, Peter, Peter. <laughs> Seriously, it started growing, particularly in intellect, <laughs> but. <laughs> God, he's so good at this. Those movie, well, no, let me stop. That movie was way beyond its its years. It was way beyond. It was way ahead of its time. Well, thank you. What was great is that they took a risk. Like Tim Burton's, the first two Tim Burton Batman movies, they took a risk. We can go, we can have some fun here. Yes, we can. Well, Jeff's favorite spoiler about that, go ahead and say it. We oh, already yeah. talked about it last podcast. But I heard it. I'm Batman, it. motherfucker. Okay. That was the line that, that was, was supposed, supposed to be. That was his original. And obviously Warner Brothers How said, upset, yeah, no. How upset are you that the Nicolas Cage Superman movie was never made? <laughs> I'm not, actually. <laughs> no. I am. I needed upset. that in my life. No. Nick Cage with long I, hair and Superman outfit. I, I got a pass. I'm right? out. What Did you I watch am the HBO excited. special? No, I know all about that. <laughs> What I am feel like he's ah, excited super. about is he is doing a movie now about himself where he's playing himself back in the 90s being super egotistical about needing to make it in the industry. So there's All some heard weird... I'm playing a dude, playing another dude. dude dressed as another, as another, another dude. dude. <laughs> Robert Downey Jr. So but what? he's playing himself Such three times over. a great so movie, so Tropic so Thunder. Check so that out if you haven't seen it. All right, so, so who's, so, who's so, playing a dude, playing so another dude? Nicolas Cage is doing he's that. Doing all so it. Nicolas Cage is stealing Jean-Claude Van Damme's Thunder from JV, <laughs> JVCB. 100%. Wow. What a wow. dick. But wow. he wow. was approached. It was a concept that he was approached with. Why would you not off. take it? Face Money. Off. Oh, God. <laughs> okay. So God, we're getting into a okay, lot of so, movies right now. Right. So Ninja Turtles 1 oh, was this whole mind-blowing, dark, but so effective, realistic, animatronic, dudes in suits yes. movie. All it is. Above. And can we not appreciate just how this even got made oh my god 
Like I I it was a I can't cartoon. even believe it got made. It was a fucking phenomenal. These guys movie. created right. their cartoons originally off comic strips where everybody yep. wore red bandanas. There weren't different right. colors. Right. And then the different TV shows were like, well, let's give them let's purple individualize them. Yeah. yeah. Which I totally understand. Right. Yeah, weapons 100%. aren't going to totally. If anybody exchange weapons, you'd be like, "Who's that guy?" <laughs> right. So everybody be confused. Give them different colors. It, it's it's like the scene in Grandma's Boy. There. Oh. <laughs> Wait. Well, when you get to level another six, movie, how many movies are going to be right now? Movie, when you get Grandma's to level boy. sixty-seven, the elves are just. Uh, won't they get people confused? Just render them a different color. color. Oh my god. Ren- random or different movie there you go. reference. We'll see. <laughs> High score. What does that mean? Did I break it? Oh, no. Challenge the gray bush. There, there he is. is. There he is. The gray I just, bush over I there. just appreciate for uh, whoever made that movie because I guarantee they got backlash and they're like, we don't want to do this. It's too dark. And this oh, guy's so like, like Shredder, Go fuck yourself. Shredder getting you know, smashed it. in the garbage can. It, like you know what I'm saying? Like, oh, you just feel oops. Like, Casey Jones pushing the lever. <laughs> oops, crush him in. In Casey Jones' part, I, I mean, mean they did cha- they did change the story and whatever. Well, like, yeah, uh, right. You know, know, they they always do a little uh, bit. The, the whole thing with the rat and he yes, cut yeah. his ear off and yeah, yeah that's or, not the original Saki, story. Which was like, all right, it's different. And they had the redhead. We'll try it. Uh-huh. Yeah. You can't care about your family, Danny? (laughs) (laughs) You have no one to go to, Danny? You know that... Danny's character, though. (laughs) You want to get deep? That's just a broken joke. Casey Jones didn't want to sleep in the sewer. Claustrophobic. (laughs) We all fight our demons. You want to know one of my favorite parts? He slept in the fucking car. Casey Jones... And Donatello fixing that truck. Yes. Oh, yeah. Going through the alphabet. not just a moment right? of like brotherhood? I don't care. Thank you. Yes. But that's, that's a great word. I don't care what you BJ, are. BJ, though. I don't care what I am. Nowadays, they, they wouldn't even add that into the movie. That's They'd be like, right. This is horrible. This that's is, why movies lack. This is fluff. There's there's no feeling in a lot there's of There's no action. That right. Was Bring so that emotion that, and brotherhood in and so build that character. There's simple. like this rule in, in, in screenwriting where it's like, is it moving the story forward if it's not cut it? I don't think them fixing a truck moved the story forward. Not at all. But awesome damn scene. it, was it one of my one of the favorite best. moments. But if you do, they like, threw the rag on him. Into it. Right. Yeah. And then they turned it into a comedy uh, uh, moment. Pork Pork rind. Well, that was before. But yeah. Yes, that that's such a great it's part. Where they're arguing. Kitchen? Kitchen. kitchen. Yeah, because the... Pork rind? Pork rind. Pork rind. <laughs> the, you would just every time yeah, you watch that and hear that part, you want to fucking pork rind. So, the, so I'm, oh, I'm gonna man. I'm gonna dance. This on This movie is fucking. Uh, All right, look, I'm gonna dance on this for a moment. Quick. Let me Before, do this thing. Let's real just quick. the truck <laughs> part is very just give important me a goddamn to that story. Moment. Everybody's Everybody. arguing over time. Go. This is one of the Go. greatest movies. Yes. of all time. Hold on. The I'm truck part though. The truck part is important because when they're stuck at the farm, the van takes a shit. Yeah. They are stranded. The nearest neighbor is miles well, away. It doesn't even matter because it wraps in the fucking tub unconscious, right. bro. I understand that, but at that time, <laughs> they need so to get much. alternate transportation to get back to the city to get back to the clan and find Splinter. So them fixing that truck is essential for them to get to the they city and get back. Because they pull up in that truck and they go to the sewer. But that's, where Casey no Jones, to Danny? that's where Casey Jones <laughs> follows Danny to where the Foot Clan is. It is essential to that movie that they fixed that truck he and use it. Drawing. I'm just saying, he found his drawing. parts in that movie. He found it's, his drawing of Leo is. waiting outside the tub. Th- th- those those little <laughs> moments where you don't look at it in a certain way, it, it, it ends up being a big part and role in the movie where if you go down that snowball effect, it had a lot of parts in the movie where they're in that truck. April O'Neil's fucking house lit on fire. Dude. Right. Burned and she got fired. Business down, got yeah, fired. Yeah, they burned the... I she, mean, for all you millennials, she had an answering machine that fell on someone's head. That was awesome. <laughs> the, the thing that really bothered me is I needed more in depth on the antique shop. There was so much good stuff. She, uh, she explained it. She her grandfather owned it. it. Yeah, but it was. A she quick, lived upstairs. Do you guys like pizza? But was it ever open? <laughs> 
You just said the magic Did she word. actually have anybody working at the antique shop? Or was it just I like, think know, she right? inherited it and it didn't was just give there. two flying fucks. I really think you might be right. See, yeah. Well, it was more, I think, It was my grandfather. It didn't seem like live upstairs. It's an operational business. As much as it was worth to the public to really does buy, she wanted to keep it for, for the memories. Right. She didn't give a fuck if she sold anything. Yeah, but she had right. a fucking building. Well, yeah, she, but yeah, she, she had the lived building. upstairs She could have made free. a yoga studio in the basement. Bro. This is so deep. I get deep. it. I get it. Yoga she could have made mayhead money. What if it was a karate studio? Could have been. Oh. Could Master been. Splinter could have actually turned into one and then it burnt down. <laughs> That's the next <laughs> <animal>. <laughs> 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 It became a very big sparring session. Hi-ya. Even that scene, like... When she's in the car, she loses everything, and she's watching it burn. Oh, yes, man, she, you could feel. They the took the dark. time to take that shot. Do you know right. how right. easy it is to they just, just have skip, skip over it and go away yeah, and right. not get a close up of April watching it burn? That and shit it. is so it resonates damn, with the bro. viewer, man. I wish we could watch oh, it right now. We should. It's, it, it really, Can't but it really it is those moments that are. Uh, a thirty second. Anyone listening? Talking to this, please. 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 Love like a fucking god. Five second. Right moment. But like how you said, how it wasn't very important in the movie for them to just go back with the banter. But it it, it so makes good. a pivotal point, and it shows a thirty second of brotherhood and, and moment where you could have a little comic. It's what is known as a slow build. build. Yeah. Yes. It's a pro wrestling. Well, the whole thing, that, the whole thing build. before that was like, okay, Raph was fucking you know doing his. Karate alone on the fucking rooftop. Right. Casey Jones is watching him. him. Then he Comes gets to his him. ass fucking beat. And then they throw him through the fucking sunroof or whatever the they fuck it was. They destroy him. I and then there was that. a Casey's comedy scene. That. There was a comedy scene between Michelangelo and one of the Foot Clan members where they did a the nunchuck battle. Yes. <laughs> oh, it's like, oh, that's so practicing. <laughs> yes. It was a break dance battle with nunchucks. And yes. even like the certain scenes where like, you know, they're dunking down. And then even when, they're, there. when they chop through the fucking floor. Right. Yeah. And they're doing the, the um, what does he call it? California roll, yeah, or whatever. yeah, California he, he roll. So they go through, and, and he's like, "It's not a good time for your buddies to jump in." And they all go <laughs> structurally the speaking. And <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes. Like, like God, those are the moments drops. that are comic relief, or like when Donatello is pulled out of the fish tank and he spits it, and it makes the you know the <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, like it's just it's so funny, but it's in the that real. Action but then moment. it goes to that after they left when they're on the Dark. farm. That was dark. Dark. As fuck. The and, whole farm and after scene it was has dark. The comic relief. Yes. I like the turtle and wax. And then it had the channel. The of turtle wax where Manor, he comes Master into the kitchen. Splinter. Yes, that's what and I was going to get to. Leo first channeled him. Right. And then he's like, you guys, guys need to come co- fucking right. see this. When Splinter's alive. That bonfire. Yes. Oh, Do my the God. Meditation, and you see him come up in the flames. And they're and crying, like, and they feel, whoa. and they know. And that's. The you. meat, the but that's the From the oh, moment the movie starts, you do not. And and maybe it's because I was seven or whatever. I right. don't know. And to this day, I'll watch it. I will never see a dude in a suit. I just see the turtles, man. Right. That I'm, that's what I'm saying. Splinter. I. It just takes you. That's why in. I like the new the new I'm Michael sorry. Bay turtles. Just. Don't do it for no, me. No, not, not I don't feel. I get little. what they were trying. There's to no do, but emotional it connection. Isn't as it, it, it's not as personal. Right. No. When you see a CGI guy get kicked in the face, you're like, Whoa. well, right. well. Think about that. that's the whole like final fight scene in the in the new Ninja Turtles where he's shooting the fucking sword, the you know the blades off of them. And Why don't yeah? The Shre- they it, basically it, turn Shredder, Shredder into a. When did Shredder go from like a five nine Asian guy to a six foot eight fucking monster? Well, the right. scary yeah, I don't the even scary thing about I think Shredder I might have shut it off. The oh my scary God, thing about <laughs> Shredder is that's sad. I Shredder never was just movies. a dude, but you couldn't yes, beat him. Roko. He was movie. like. The he was like Mike Tyson at the end of Punch Out. You know he was he just is. a normal he's dude. Uh, you couldn't beat him. He built a cult and took in broken children to do his dirty work and build his crime. Sure, sure. you are here so because the outside world was, rejects you. Yes, <laughs> he was. He was a hundred percent a cult leader. He yes. he was fucking Jim Jones. He was fucking uh, you know uh, Waco guy. I can't think of his fucking name yeah. right now. 
but yeah, he brought he, wow, that's broken a really children good way to break it down. He to he, do his crime. He was Charles Manson. Let's yeah. be honest. Yeah, he, he, Manson he, didn't kill anybody. He had other everybody people else this. killed everybody. Right. You never saw Shredder go out there stealing car fucking stereos. No. Yeah, but Shredder would fuck your ass up. Right. If yeah. He, uh, if you were in well, no. Eternal. Tensu would fuck you up. Yes, Tensu was yeah. <gasps> shredded into can jack I? shit. He just made a lot of grunting Can I plant noises. a little for you guys to watch something? Plant it. Go ahead. You ready? Yeah. You ready to be planted? Planet, bro. So DC mm-hmm. did a movie. Mm-hmm. It's a cartoon, mm-hmm. and it's really good. Of? Batman versus the Ninja Turtles. No. Shut your face. The Ninja Turtles... Show up in Gotham. <laughs> it's on Netflix. I'm not even um, kidding. It, it, blew, blew, it blew. Or no, I'm sorry. It's on Voodoo. I bought it. It blew my mind. Voodoo. Voodoo. How do you do the Voodoo that you do so well? <laughs> the Ninja Turtles <laughs> show up in Gotham because Shredder was making a deal with some of the shenanigan makers in Gotham. Joker, Penguin, Penguin Joker, yeah. all that were, and Ra's al Ghul. Oh, Ooh, and it gets super dark and super twisted. And all of a sudden I'm like, wait, what is happening? There is a fight scene between Batman and Shredder. That is the coolest shit I have ever what? seen. I'm going to have I am this. telling you in the preview that you get a snippet of it and you're like, I need to buy this movie, which is exactly what I did. <laughs> and I watched it at two o'clock in the morning, drunk by myself. And I just was jaw dropped going. This is not a kid's cartoon. This is PG-13. All those DC, those? I'm going to show you something. All those DC, the animated stuff, stuff is yeah. dark. Real, the old man Batman one? Dark. Oh, yeah. I'm going to show you some, Dude, you guys will enjoy the hell out of it. Batman versus the Ninja Turtles. We have the in, bro. Because I'm Batman in. thinks these guys show up to screw up Gotham. But when they team up, it's... Oh god! Oh, I can only awesome. imagine. And Batman it's was like Michelangelo was so. Which you would Batman was sense. like T U R T L E power. They find their way in the back cave. I'll just say they find their way through the sewers into the back cave. No, sort of spoiler alert, but it's it's really not pertinent to the whole story overall. Is Batman and Mikey loses his mind because he loves everything about the back cave. Oh god. I'm Just think about in. how he lost his mind when they found the subway in the second. Oh, oh. it's like 62 times worse. It's great. <laughs> Which, anyway. and let's be honest, in the second one, I'd live in that fucking subway. I would fuck yeah. totally rock yeah. that subway. That's a dope place. Dope. That's if a, you, can you know what that, that is right there? Turn the power That's on. That's a gentleman's yeah. den. Yeah. Boom. Oh, well, you never know. What I'm saying? Should we? I, I might have hit the lottery. When Raph we'll screams, when they, when they capture Splinter in the first yeah. movie. Oh. And with the shaky camera around him. Yes. Oh, through the door. Man. The circle shot. The yeah, circle with shot around the camera all the way around. And, and, around and in that around. moment, oh his fucking just scream. Like in Dam, when he screams Dam and it goes to the city and, and echoes, yeah. it echoes through the door, down the sewer. Yeah. And the dude's walking to by. The, to, yes. And he hears like, it. To the, s- the steam yeah. drain. And the guy Ooh. hears it like, Holy fuck! That pizza dude's got thirty seconds. Can I? That is a T-shirt, and I need it. <laughs> yes. Can, so I don't know if no, anybody who made this movie is watching this. Probably but not. But should be. Someday you might. Definitely Maybe should be. Thank you for shaping our Thank childhood. One hundred percent. The first Turtles movie. Oh my god! Fucking gold. Listen, I've you. been screaming this. The, Since our very first podcast, yes. the, the Ninja Turtles, as in my childhood, and I'm older than all these guys. Yeah, I had all the action figures. Good. I had the fucking music CD they put out. Yeah, dude. Yeah. I we saw Jeff saw them live. I the saw them live. Yelly power. I let's just talk. We're about coming it. out of our shells. Yeah, coming out of our shells, man. <laughs> I played the shit out of that CD. <laughs> Or could, I think it was a cassette, actually. Cassette, yeah. yeah. Way back then. Did I play the DVD? I'm not gonna DVD. lie to you. I'm not gonna lie to you. I had the DVD. My dad, my dad sent it to me. I have the autograph picture at my house of the Ninja Turtles from the live show. See, that needs Ooh, to, that that's needed to cool. be here. Were there, like, yeah, stuff on the wall right, right. right. Put it right here. Look at this hole. Yeah, what yes. are you talking about? There's like I have to put it yeah. in a frame. 
I gotta frame it because the, the the posters were small. They were like fucking uh, like seven by elevens. Oh, All right, such so a good movie. Splinter, so cool. Splinter gets so captured. Yes. Okay. After and then he gets bitch slapped by fucking Shredder. Couple, yeah. I think they Shut molested it. him. I think they sexually molested Splinter. I hope they you. didn't. Splinter wouldn't let that happen. He's k- chained up, man. I think they're just Bro, taking liberties. Bro, that tail would have been bitch slapping people. And they were just taking have, liberties with Splinter. And you have nowhere to go to, Danny? <laughs> Danny's got nowhere to go. No family. <laughs> he doesn't. He's a lost child. <laughs> he's he's, he's lost. He's got his bro. Walkman. He's just thinking of... Well, he's stealing his, his, his dad's dad was wallet. A, his dad was a douchebag. Like April oh, O'Neil. Oh, yeah. yeah, money out yeah. of her wallet. She's like... And then at the end, he's like, I owe you this. I owe you this. See, he I paid really his love that scene where he, Danny's in the apartment for the first time in April's apartment, and the, and the turtles just slept over. Yeah. Yes. And he just, <laughs> he's under the table. He's looking around. He's like, There's the panda. Under the table. Like, what the fuck? Down the tellos like in the, the acid, shower. Like the yeah. acid's kicking in. Oh, yeah. it's right. like, <laughs> what is happening? So cool. Okay, did and I then see he is amazingly turtle? an amazing artist. Right, you can sketch these guys. Well, yeah. no, oh, April O'Neil no did. Sketches, I would pay. That was April O'Neil when they were at the farm. No, he did. I'm gonna tell you right now. Well, no, she, no, April O'Neil did. I mean, he goes, "Can I have one of these?" Oh, you're and right. You're right. Subway. April drew it. Oh yes, God, and they're in the right. subway where they find him hiding in and, the and then Shredder, Shredder pulls it out of his pocket. Yeah, what is this down his face? Yeah. <laughs> Why did I get it? Why did I get it? Right in the middle. Because you're the shredder. So, so how about the scene where I had pizza down down here a couple days ago, and Mikey (laughs) runs over to it, opens it up, closes it really fast. Penicillin, (laughs) honey, pizza. (laughs) Penicillin. (laughs) They play taps for a penicillin-covered pizza. I bet they still ate it. No anchovies. They scraped it. Oh. Yeah, they they wouldn't. They if wouldn't I see one anchovy, oh, man. I, that part's hilarious. They're turtles. I think they get like off the fish. Just throw the book Donatello's out. just skateboarding through the sewer. Oh. Mikey's waiting for the pizza. What a great scene! Right, even that. Fuck, just this dude. Moment of just that camaraderie I can't express. of press brotherhood again. I can't express enough how so awesome this fucking movie. is. Can so I compare good. in this? This might be off, and maybe it's just the '80s. I don't mm-hmm. know. But like, they all intertwine. I intertwine. feel like I've never said this Twine. before, so I'm just gonna talk raw and see if this Dude, might be terrible. Get it, mm-hmm. Ninja Turtles. The effect that it had on me as a kid, the feeling I had, the the I loved skateboarding. I loved all that shit, mm-hmm. and and seeing you know a Ninja Turtle skateboarding. I love pizza. And, okay, so <laughs> right, you know, all this stuff. Oh, God. Pizza dude's got that every day. Yeah, that, did you that like nunchucks at seven but years I feel old? Like, I made and my I, own. I'm going to make a, a jump to a topic we haven't talked about on on air. I don't know what you call it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> on Stranger the line. Things, on the line. Stranger Things gives me the same feeling. Yeah. Yes, and because maybe it's just it has 80s. that nostalgia. It's, it yes, does. It brings you back to a time that you were a kid and you could relate to the and, situation. And I'm going to tell you something right now. The overall, but it's different, though, going because to the it's arcade. different, but I think I'm going to blow BJ's mind. What? Go. I haven't, haven't watched it. You, Stranger you Things? Yeah. I have not yes. watched Brother, it. Brother, not one was, episode. This is not it's one. crazy. Dude, I can't, uh, can I just say this? Not one episode. Can I? Well, let me ask a question. Why? I just haven't gotten around to it. To be honest, okay, because I, I, I didn't, didn't watch know. Breaking Bad either. I didn't watch. I didn't know. Lord well, of the I never saw Breaking Bad. I, didn't, I didn't saw a single thing. Carbon. I didn't watch. I never saw the games. Up. Game of Thrones. I never watched that shit either. Oh. I would. Oh, so I love it. Lord of the Rings. All right, and the Hobbit. This guy, I, let's just end this right now. No, no, <laughs> no, 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 let me say this. Never watch Game of Thrones. Never watch Breaking Bad. What am I even listening to? I never watch. Okay, I've never heard anyone say I've never watched Stranger Things, Breaking Bad, or Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones in the same sentence. Well, but I, I did watch so He's Bound and Down, and I watch Shameless every week. There you go. I've yeah. never seen either of those. So, let's say this. What have you been watching? <laughs> the Marvel movies. <laughs> and making his own. Yeah. Batman is so, the Turtles team. You've been staring at America's ass for Can 12 I, years? Uh, I do enjoy his ass. <laughs> so, let me say this. There it is. There it is. You, knowing oh, you from what I know, yeah. will love 
Stranger Things. Oh, I'm sure I will. I just haven't got around. Not only is it just 80s nostalgia, they hit the sci-fi in such a different level than than sci-fi has been at. Uh, attempted. Well, lately, yeah, hundred percent. It's lately. so great. It's it's just holy shit, man. You will really like. It's it. great. You just. I, I, I was like, you remember those days. I, just, I, just, I think stop. my, my favorite aspect that. is them riding around on their bikes together. Yeah, and the big mean? ass walkie talkies. Yes. Hey, like, and yeah, I dress as a Ghostbuster for Halloween. See, that's yeah. what I'm saying. You just relate. I and gave like, my three year old the actual walkie talkie that they use because <laughs> I still had it. <laughs> yeah. There's no other one in. Sight, no, no yes. but it works, and it's got the beep, 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 the SOS button, yep. so he will communicate with no one. And I'm just waiting for a trucker to it's drive by and just say, "Copy that, rubber ducky." <laughs> this kid will lose his mind. <laughs> I, he uh, literally would probably run it. Oh my god, is that what Doc? Somebody said? else is out so there. So in my garage, I have a bit of my childhood <laughs> in the attic. I have. Castle Grayskull. <gasps> My brother will lose his shit. Right and now. and I have Snake Mountain with the microphone. Mm-hmm. That it, the microphone oh, was fucking amen. great because you would grab it and Bro. there was something inside almost. of it that just clanged around. Craigie. So almost. you would talk and just clang. So my brother Andy is super. Super, Ooh. bro, you got a cigarette backwards in yeah. your mouth. Yeah, well, let's got it. See, he's on point. You're not. We just talked about it. One too right. many 50, I'm just 50, looking out 50s for you, buddy. tonight. Triple 50? Triple, fi- triple 50? Oh. 50 <laughs> third. I'm going to find this. Three. Three. Hold on. Hold on. No, well, crap. Nope, that's not the I love place. the turtles. This doesn't so have to be much. on whatever, but I'm just telling you, my brother is the reason I have a slight addiction. <laughs> To collecting stuff. Andy, if Slight. you're listening, Slight. thank you. Um, <laughs> you owe me that so was, much money. That was you so did he just thank you. fine stuff, man. I'm telling you. Enhance. So, do you guys know? Enhance. Enhance. <laughs> God, I love Super Troopers. Do you know uh, Schwann's ice cream? Yes, sir. All right, so my brother is like one yeah, of the... Yeah, Jimmy Hammer used to deliver Schwann's ice cream to my house. He's like... <laughs> my brother's like one of the top dog dudes in that company. and His, his buddy, name's not Jimmy Hammer, is he? No, it's not. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Jimmy, Jimmy Hammer. Hammer used to deliver ice cream to my... It's so like I get a name bars. like Jimmy Hammer. That sounds like an 80s pro wrestler. wrestler. Sprinkles. Oh, God. It sounds like an 80s pro wrestler for like Here comes Smoky Jimmy Hammer. Hammer. I'm gonna pee yeah. my pants. Hold you want them Rocky Mountain Boy, Road? Road. Like All right, so left. like, we he knows my love of Ninja Turtles, and I know his love of He Man. He has up to the fourth. Well, I mean, the power Grace Call compels you. Whatever right? they call it, where it's like Star. the fourth fourth version, generation, yeah, of toys that came out. Yeah. He has everything up to the fit. So the fourth generation complete. Wow. Now he's looking at the fifth generation. So he has skunk dude. man, dude. It's oh does yeah. skunk man still smell like a skunk? Uh, I think so. Does he have Netflix? Last time I whiffed it. Does he chill? Yeah. Have you seen uh, the toys? The toys the that make his yes. season three just came out yes. with He Man one. <laughs> so he's all bona fide over that one. He's watching. It. But like he'll send me stuff like this. Like, do you know these new half shell hero Ninja Turtle toys are coming out with this? And I'm like, I need what? to find it for my kid. So yeah. we have this sick addiction where we will spend too much money on shit that our kids will enjoy for about 15 minutes and then go on to something new. Yeah, right. Then we can put it away. In our- <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't understand. Because I, I know my kid, Miles, loves Spider-Man. <clears throat> he loves Ninja Turtles. He loves Star Wars. The new Ninja the Turtles day. or the old Ninja old Turtles? Relax, bro. Yes. Okay. He yeah, grew one that of his right. first one of his Good. first movies ever was The Force Awakens. He was one. Anyway, I was drunk and we watched it together. <laughs> <laughs> he wouldn't stop Force crying, Awakens so I put it out of nope. shut up. He we can never, get into that. Dude, the Force Awakens was a great movie. Sat there, wide eyed, because we had just done the. Can I tell you something, honestly? We had just done the screening of the rocket. Mm-hmm. Came home. Wife was tired. 
I took the kid. He was awake late at night. I was on cloud 64. Everything right. was exciting. I'm Couldn't like, I'm going to watch Star Wars because I feel Fuck great yeah. right now. And I'm holding my kid standing up in front of the TV, holding him. And he's just watching, Ninja, or I'm sorry, Star Wars. And the minute Ray picked up a lightsaber, like you're halfway yeah. into the movie, <laughs> he just <laughs> was struck. <laughs> and I was digging it, man. So what I'll fun, do uh, in the summer... I have a 3D projector. Yeah. And oh, I wait. What? I have a, mo- a a projector I bought drunk as shit one night <laughs> on Amazon. <laughs> yeah. Great yeah. purchase. Uh, I got one too. Actually, watch the fights. Actually, on Dell, Dell dot com because I have a credit through Dell, and uh, it was 3D. So I bought a bunch of 3D movies, and one of them happens to be Force Awakens. Hey yo. So, so good. I have four sets of 3D glasses. I'll order some more, and we could do a 3D movie. Dude, that would be fun. It's so good. I feel after like we do we Turtles in 3D. Yes. <sighs> Dude, is that I don't care. Story? After we do Dread. Right, back to Dread Turtles, though. The greatest movie and how yeah. deep and dark the dive is. Deep and is. dark. There you go. They need to when come back to, to deep the and dark. End and you show the Brotherhood go to take on Shredder and how they <laughs> go to fight together. And even though they band together, they weren't strong enough the problem is is because movie nowadays is yeah. right but they did go all together and he did wipe the floor with them and that's when splinter had to come in and regular right but the movies nowadays but do you not see that there was any humbling moment of when the four turtles oh, thought wait. that they can do everything and that they could take this guy down they, they were fighting for their father their master yep. splinter and they could not defeat the shredder in, in, in Splinter, in a Showed moment, up and wrecked him. In a moment, in a one with, motion, yeah, with took a him smooth out. Smooth move, right? You know, and why? I think that showed them. They're only teenagers, and right? They haven't learned exactly, everything. and I but think that was a humble moment was for them. Super, super, super focused on rage. Well, and yes, Splinter yeah, was overcome. smooth about it. Well, Splinter didn't plan on killing him. No, he just held him. But the turtles yeah, Casey beat the shit him. out of a hundred. 500 foot clan members. He was just yeah. going to hold them with the nunchucks. Right. And then he threw he the knife. He didn't have a plan. He did it to himself. And right. And Splinter caught that He spared knife. him. Like a badass. Like a yes. Oh, that's why I love Splinter. And one of my so favorite hard. lines of the movie is where they're going through. And that rooftop scene was dark. As yes. It was yeah. great. It was fucking awesome. When, when uh, he got Leo, when Shredder got Leo, and he's like, he dies. Right. And everyone's like, oh... Weapons. No. Right. Oh, crap. Throw it. You, knew they were you saw the, the Brotherhood like, no, we're not going to risk each other. Oh, man. They were yes. so tight. That's well, what that's saying. what he's saying. He's like, uh, they were talking about Splinter, and he's like, the rat. Yeah. This guy knows where Splinter is. Oh, man. Like, it was confirmed. And that's right. what I mean. It was it was so deep of an emotion I'm to so get that we, back. Oh, like, man. It, it, it brought you in so many different levels. And then... When they're all done and they're on the rooftop and they're going through, that was radical. That was tubular. Come on. We got to do it they one jump. time. Cowabunga! <laughs> no one freaking slapped my hand. That was always my favorite. Thank you, Sean. So <laughs> that showed that was a family. So And that's how deep that movie goes. Here comes ratings. Your ratings. Out of one to ten. Five hard cocks. <laughs> so I heard about your weird rating system. Yeah, we haven't decided what it is yet. I know. I, I, I appreciate know. the out of ten. Well, because I want to. Uh, I want to set up some kind of. Uh, we're gonna set up a, a chart. A chart. Sure, like so a, I want to like go a, like acting. Oh. Oh. In yeah. We. Some, some kind of editing. Cinematography. Editing. And then total. Man, I don't know if it's just because I was a kid and I'm. I'm hard up for it for the rest of my life but like Ninja Turtles the it's, first it might one be a perfect movie is, damn yeah. it has all of yeah. the aspects I would give it a 10 everything that could have been wrong or could have been yeah but it was a technical glitch because of the costume and what they just made it work because perfectly the, the hence the reason why and the feel and, and the flow and hence oh. the reason why it was shot so dark so it would cover up a lot of that too yes. you know why right. 
I agree with you, and that's exactly how I would have done that's it. Like the, that, third, I, yeah. the third that one was genius. trash. Right. It was so it was bright. bright and light. So bright and, and, and they spots had like and the spots turtles. What are you doing to them? Right. Like turtle like herpes. All. Like, what yeah. is yeah. that? <laughs> <laughs> so I will, I will gladly. I know one of the resolving topic things last time was just out of 10. Mm-hmm. I will give only because. And not just nostalgia purposes. No, nope, fuck it. 10. Yeah, and there it is. I will give it a ten. I will give Ninja Turtles a ten. ten. That movie is fantastic. And like I said, it, it's Covers well written. It it's well written. It's well put together. God, I don't want to watch it right now. The the dialogue is smart. It's not gonna. It doesn't dumb it down for you. Like the new one dumbed it down a lot. If any millennials are out there and have only watched the new ones, you're wrong. You're with missing Michael out. Bay. You are, you are sorry. missing out. Out. In watch all honesty, the first. If, Ninja Turtles. Go back to the nineteen ninety OG. OG. Go back to the original fucking cartoon and watch that first. Even better. And let it build it into your mind. Don't, don't, don't do it. Just watch the (laughs) first movie. No, don't watch the cartoons. Just the The cartoons are trash. No, I wouldn't go that far, buddy. No, I'm just saying compared compared to the the movie, movie. Well, compared to the well, first yeah. movie, it's it's not comparable. The Just watch the ten first fucking watch movie. Watch that movie and watch feel the what emotion. It originally was. Don't look at what it is now, where it's all CGI, it's all computer graphic, it's all it's too clean. Yeah, that's the problem I the have. Movie with the movie had literally There's everything. There's no grit to it. Grit. That's the first great, movie is fucking great. There's yeah. no fucking grime and grit to the movie. The original Ninja Turtle movie. I'm is giving it a ten, ten times. Dirty. When you 100%. watch, it's when you 10, watch 10, Raphael 10, 10. ninja kick with two toes, these dudes on the subway and carry April down the subway tunnel yes. to his lair. It's the just compassion. Whoa! The out of yeah. fear and out of darkness and out of I gotta save this chick and what? The I lost the sigh. Oh, I was like, get it back. I can get it back. <laughs> Man! It's... Raphael. <laughs> that, that movie, oh. it is... And it got okay. shit on so hard. I don't care about I mean, stupid fuck people. it, dude. But, 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 but... How do you feel about it, fucking ratings and shit? I, I don't. Right. I, I, the way I see Horrible. it, trust them. Like... Don't it's, trust it's them. all fucking opinion based. You it's like all your mo- shit. money motivated and it's, money motivated. It's, it's yes. the company that pays the writer to write such article or yeah. review. It's it's two hundred percent. Well, like Rotten Tomatoes. I don't it's know. like it's it's paid by fucking motherfucker. You know I watched have, so you know? many movies on there that were horrible that they rated. And They're I like, ah, oh, this great. got a fucking. Two. You know what though? I've watched I watch a lot of movies that Rotten Tomatoes awesome. have yes. given a certified fresh, and they are fucking phenomenal movies. A.K.A. Peanut Butter Falcon. Boom. I'm so excited to see that. It's so good. <laughs> Do that, you know the story? Can I give a quick... The story of that movie? Yeah. Behind it? Yeah. How it came about? Yeah. The kid wanted to be an actor, and they wrote the movie for there him. There it is. The kid has Down so Syndrome. So awesome. Which, which we are going to so go ahead and watch and producer together. And the producer volunteered Looks to good. help at these camps. Can't wait. Yes. And they yeah. met that kid. Yeah. Right. So cool. It's a great... It's watch the trailer now if you I'm haven't pumped seen for it. Just... Like I said, oh, I, oh. I saw a preview for it, and I'm like, fuck, I got I to gotta see it. You got to go potty? Yeah, Jeff? it's good. I mean, when the <laughs> fuck did we have ice cream? <laughs> the we Ringer. Got, we got ice cream? <laughs> so good. The Ringer. What you couldn't make movie. that movie now. No. No. There's oh a lot of movies God, you no. can't make now. No. no. Are we talking the, Johnny Knoxville? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> when the fuck did we get ice cream? Such a good movie. Everybody so have many, a great night. So Love many, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> There's so many movies that were made that couldn't get made now. No. The original Ninja Turtles being one of them. Yes. Oh, that's so sad. And I would love to see You know how many people would be triggered like from just the little things in there? Just, oh, my I, God, why are they chasing the Asian guys? Right. Uh, why, 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 are, why is everybody dressed as the same thing? Right, There's next, no individuals. Next time on TGD Spoils, we're doing Terminator 2 because I just watched an uh, hour and 30 minutes of special features. <laughs> it, 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 <laughs> I just, just want to hear you talk on that for an hour and 30 minutes. I would, say, I would just sit and listen. We could. A lot of all right. All of us pretty much had the same rating for this movie. Gingerly. Because it, it is yeah. so good. It, it is great. So fucking It is legitimately good. one of... One of it is, and it I know our audience What is that varsity blues where he's like, I'm a ten. She's a ten. 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 Oh, yeah. Fucking ten. Billy Bob. 
Fill it up. Fill it up. Miss <laughs> Davis, you go to prom with me? <laughs> we should review no. that movie. Miss All right, Davis. we'll bring BJ back when we review Varsity Blues. <laughs> yeah. All I'm going to talk about is Miss Davis's pert rack the uh, whole time because she was hotcha, stacked. Man, hotcha. oh, he, he said it. He's a 10. <laughs> 10. <laughs> All right. Well, Where for TGD you, Spoils, I'm Sean. Thank you, Jeff. Thank you, Frankie. Thank you, uh, BJ Rainier, for coming in. You're goddamn welcome, Sean. Golly, we had a good night tonight. My pleasure. Finally, we got another late night podcast coming out. This is great. All right, we'll see you guys next week here on TGD Spoils. Later, folks. Deuces.